Yeah, it's good to do different teams, um, different places, different locations. If you're staying similar, like just staying in the lower mainland, it's you're not getting like a full experience, right? If we want to progress to a certain level, you're gonna have to be going to stadiums to different fields that you're not used to what's going on. You gotta deal with mm -hmm. the adversity, and it's good that we're going with people we know, people who we trust, and then that way we can um, work together to um, understand what problems we need to face together and how to solve them. It's good because we um, are so close together that we're going to have to work together eventually and it's good to be able to work with new people as well because um, it just changes the aspect, it changes how we manage the game. Mm -hmm. Having a consistent trio can be important as well because then we get to know each other and how we all officiate the game. So it's good for trust building for sure. and referees go, the knowledge keeps getting passed down and everything we learn throughout this program through our career as a referee, it's important to pass that to the ones that are coming up and we see that it's important for their development and their performance as well. The prep program and the integration program have worked um, to definitely grow our development and it's given us a lot of opportunities that we definitely would not have gotten without these two programs. They're going to take us as far as we can possibly go and develop as much as we can, but of course everyone's goal is to one day be in the Canadian Premier League. Obviously the goal is to get as uh, high as possible to do the best job we can do, so whether that be going to national, that's what we all want to be, and eventually FIFA. Obviously we know that not everyone in this program can get to that level, but it doesn't mean we all shouldn't strive for perfection, we should strive for greatness and do the best job that we can do. talking point because we, we got your offside goal. Mine, mine was in the thing in the yours was yours, I thought yours was more clear than yours, that's why. What happens is three guys they ran early. Okay. And they're right there challenging for the ball. Yeah. So I have to give it. That's why I waited though. Yeah. I had to wait. Yeah. I definitely think that was a penalty though. Yeah, I mean, it happened. In my opinion, I think it was a penalty. Because yeah. I saw you hesitating as well. Yeah, but yeah. I called it. And then yeah. We called it together, and that's fine. Yeah. So let's just, let's just forget about the penalty. Yeah. Good call, ref! No, but I mean, that's the key talk. It's a 40 second minute. Because they're going to come off firing now. in good teamwork, had good communication throughout the whole game. I think on all of our minds we still want to watch our footage, we want to see the critical instance that we had, we want to see how we managed it, and that'll kind of conclude the final assessment as well. I think at 15 minutes we had your first chat. The 21. Yeah. Yes. I think that's where you, you said, hey, this is my line in the sand, you've just crossed it. Yeah. Okay, and basically, you that was your presence. You yeah. said, we're here, we're not going anywhere, yeah. you cross that line, and if you cross the line, we're going to deal with it. And I think that had kind of a ripple effect throughout the game, because the game had the opportunity to get kind of a little crazy. I thought so. There were little, there were, I felt like there were little spurts of it. You know? Yeah. I, I have to rate this game, and I'm going to say normal, but in my, my comments I will put down the only reason it was normal is because you guys brought it down. Even, even the decisions you know, where I kind of pestered you a little bit on you know, this, 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 they're correct, and I thought they were correct. I think it's important for us to also take this time just to relax and you know gather our own thoughts on how we feel. 
um, we felt we left confident that we did a good job. So I think as a team, you know, time to relax, watch the footage, it's a controlled environment now and just reflect on our own experience in the game, what we can do better and move forward for the next game. It's a lot of pressure, guys, <laughs> and a lot of anxiety, but, you know, while analyzing the clips afterwards is probably where we learn the most. Yeah. With every decision, there's just so many different factors and we touched on it in the debrief, but, you know, it's good to have like a dialogue. Yeah. So there's always that thought at the back of your head after the fact, right? Like, just, did I see that? Is it 100%? But obviously we'll find out.